so many of the prosthetics that I wore for so long were essentially like wearing a chunk of fiberglass or a chunk of wood hanging on your leg and it wasn't a part of me. This is a product that allows them to get back to what they were used to. Literally, when I, when I move with this leg, I can do anything that I want to do because it's, it's so well connected to my residual limb. This can impact anybody who is an amputee's life, and that means a lot. I get to do anything that I want to do, and the people look at me and they say they can't believe that I'm wearing a prosthetic leg doing the things that I do. We need to be able to have people experience life, and this allows you to do that. started network manufacturing in 1989 in his garage in a duplex that we were living in. When Aaron first started, he was doing anything that other companies were afraid to do. For the most part, uh, aerospace type materials, aerospace type uh, products, we were third string, not second, uh, second tier, in the products that we were manufacturing. And I wanted to get it to where the ones that are making the product and marketing it. EMS is the enhanced mobility socket. It's a whole system for amputees to better connect their prosthetic leg. Carl Caspers was an inventor, innovator himself, and an amputee. He had an idea. Um, but not really sure of how to bring it to fruition. And Aaron was able to put his mind to work and figure out a way to add this texture that creates this suction without compressing on their residual limb so it's more comfortable. In 1977, they amputated my, my foot lower below the knee and um, then I was fitted with a variety of different prosthetics over the years. And in 1991, I had a pretty significant surgery to straighten my leg out and get me out of what used to be called a joint and lacer so that I didn't have to wear the, the, the big bulky thigh lacer. And at that point, I started wearing some of the very, very early versions of different socket technologies that he was developing, the pumps. And then later, uh, I got into EMS and uh, some of the very, very early iterations of that as well. As soon as I got to try some of the vacuum technology, it was so much different for my, for my stump, for my residual limb and the health of that limb. And the connection that I made was so incredibly different in my ability to tell what my foot was doing, where my foot was, and, and what my residual, how my residual limb was responding to that, because I could feel that connection once I got into vacuum technology. Each EMS is built to each customer's limb. Everything is 100% custom made for them rather than off the shelf, the small, medium, large, which creates bunching. It, it's not fit for everyone and this way it is. We experimented a lot to come up with, with a way that we could create more contact surface for the adhesion, the unit itself with the flesh. My leg goes into a urethane liner which then goes into the EMS socket and the EMS socket is, um, is contoured and, and fits that liner perfectly, but it's dimpled in such a way that when the vacuum takes place, it takes place pulling that liner outside into that EMS and locks me into that EMS uh, just incredibly tightly. We take a scan provided by the prosthetist and we'll convert it into a mold and build the entire system here. What's incredible to me about Networks is this is an innovation award, right? And innovation means that something has changed, something's deviated from the norm. This is a technology that will change lives for people who have been active and, and have a, a, a significant traumatic experience in their life where maybe they think they'll never be able to do things again. What makes EMS innovative is it allows amputees more freedom and a better quality of life. The leg is now the least of my concerns, the least of my physical concerns, because it takes care of itself. 